It's been a long time since I've done a favorites video, so I am doing a huge super favorites. So I'm going to show you things that I've had a long time, things that are brand new, that I've been using non-stop. First off, let's just talk about the top that I'm wearing. I'll just show you the black one that I have. So this is the original one that I bought. Uh, I bought this at original price and I bought this in the spring because I saw the shape and I was like, huh, pretty cute because it's got this faux bustier cut here so it kind of gives you the illusion of a smaller waist so if i just stand up you can see here the cutout it's like at your waist and it kind of just slims down and it can look very very cute depending on what uh, type of shorts or bottom that you wear it's a little bit cropped obviously because uh, the back especially it's higher up so it works really really well with um, high waist jeans, high waist shorts, high waist anything really. So I've been wearing this top non-stop because it has these lines, right? These lines going across so you can see it better on the green version. This green version is on sale by the way. It went even more on sale as we speak and so I um, really like it. This pairs really really well with one of the Hermes shorts that I've been wearing like literally non-stop so I'll show you which one they are not that they are in stock anymore but there's still a few more things here so from Aritzia um, this tube top very cute sweetheart uh, their sculpt knit tube top I highly recommend I've had this black one for years now um, I like that this one it does have that kind of gel like sticky material to really adhere to your skin so it doesn't constantly pull down and so i liked this sweetheart version so much uh, even back then they still have these things um, that i bought two more this year so i bought it in their limited edition color this one is in the gold and this one is in the silver it's really really cute very flattering. I've already worn these two quite a bit. <laughs> they already started peeling a little bit around the inside, but that's okay. That's just the inside. They're even more on sale now, which is even more worth it. So yeah, I will link all of these Aritzia tops that I bought recently in the description below. I've been loving these pairs of shorts. I wore them so much. They've been washed already and dried and they are in great shape. These are actually from Goelia, which I know a lot of you are familiar with the brand at this point. I got this in size 26, I think. Yeah, size 26. These are the shorts that I've been raving about because uh, I had the one one version of these shorts in black from last year and I love those so much that I needed to get the white one and this year this is the white one. The, the white one this year is even thicker. I love that they're elasticated at the back and they're just so universally flattering whether you have more hips, less hips like me. Um, they also don't uh, get creased up because I, you know, you can fold it. I've been traveling with this. It's great. So love these shorts. I'll have it linked below. And then the other pair of shorts that I've been literally living in is these ones, which um, I don't know if it's still in stock, but I'm sure Hermes will keep making paper bag shorts nevertheless, whether it's this particular pattern, color, whatnot. Uh, you could always have your eyes peeled for their paper bag shorts. They're so flattering, super high-waisted, um, just so easy to wear, especially the summertime with these kind of crop tops. And I'm just going to show you exactly what I mean. So as you can see, this top right here, they're pretty, they're pretty short, right? They, they kind of cut off right here. Uh, they're quite cropped. But let's just show you how they look like in these shorts. By the way, these shorts, they do wrinkle a lot, but that's just how denim is, I guess, this kind of denim. Don't forget to remove your stickers on your buttons because I totally forgot they were there for a while on the Palladium hardware. So one day I realized that, oh, why is it not shiny? It's because I forgot to remove the buttons. So I like to just do a bow and yeah, that's... Uh, the pair of shorts that I've been living in for the summer with all these crop tops, tank tops. I got so many compliments on this one. It's kind of like a this darling uh, kind of 
lace sweater short sleeve summertime and it's just the texture because it's lace throughout and it's just a perfect little jacket for the summertime it's lined inside as well um, because in the summertime in ACA environment and whatnot it can still get cold or sometimes maybe you're wearing those just tube tops and you need like a little jacket to you know sometimes cover yourself a little bit at least your shoulder uh, this is a great great little piece it's very cute and it's very inexpensive from petite studio i got it in extra small the following are all lifestyle and workout favorites because one of my mindset goals this year was that i wanted to consistently work out my goal was not to lose weight or anything i just want to feel stronger and feel more energetic and i'm not getting any younger so working out is an important part of just making it a lifestyle one of the ways that i thought i would make it more consistent is that if i'm more motivated to do it is by looking cute in my workout clothes for me walking a bit of weight training stretching is my workout and you know 45 minutes one hour tops and if i can even do it twice a week consistently i would be happy so far i've only been doing it once a week average um but it's it's a start right so anyway i got some really cute tops so let me just show you all the bra tops that i got this one is from aloe it's so cute it doesn't look like it would be anything special so it's from this brand aloe it's a u.s brand um but because of the ruching in the front and it kind of just like ruches right here so it's very flattering i love it so much you guys should try this one it's a little pricey though and they don't really go on sale oh it started peeling because I started I wore it so much already. So that was from Aloe, and the only piece from Aloe. These two are from Lululemon, so it's a local brand. It's a Vancouver brand. Look at this orange, it's so happy. It's kind of like that peach orange, which is why I pulled out these hats because I had these hats a long time ago and they kind of match a little bit. These are, this is a golf hat, but nevertheless i kind of wear them together it's their energy zip bra i think and the reason why i like this one they were not pinching me in any weird ways and they were very very supportive and so i really really like them i love the crisscross design in the back and i also love the best part about this bra is that it's a zippered design so it's very easy to get on and off and because I like this bra so much i actually bought it in black first right i bought it in black first but then i wanted a different color so i went with some brighter color for like the summer days so this pairs really really well again with some high-waisted leggings i'll show two options that i've been wearing non-stop so this version is the long version so i've been wearing this um kind of early summer when it was still cool this one is from fanka and I got it in a size small. These leggings, you guys, have exceeded my expectation. I also own it in black. It's just such a soft material and it just molds to any body shape. Literally, I used to think that high waist things don't always suit me because I have such a straight body type, but at the same time, I'm not like skinny all the way. And so anywhere that has extra fat to pinch, it's gonna look awful, but I didn't feel awful in these at all and they were flattering even on a day that I didn't feel you know the most snatched they're so forgiving that's what I mean so I love these I will link them below I really highly recommend these they're so light too they're so easy to travel I wore these to um Hawaii to my Hawaii trip on my way back because I wanted to have longer pants on the plane but um, you know, it's kind of like different weather between Hawaii and Vancouver. So these were great kind of in, mid in the middle and they were airy enough that I didn't feel too hot in them. So really good, just really great material for working out. And these ones uh, are from Aritzia, TNA Action, size small. These are just like their uh, cheeky, I don't know how they're called, like high waist cheeky, um, Kind of legging shorts and i just wear them to pair with any of the workout clothes that i have because these are just shorter length great for the summertime i also bought these which are really really cool so these are the align camisole from lululemon 
And I love that they come with a uh, shelf bra and bra cups removable and they're just so flattering. They're flattering to be worn as a top that you want to go out with or just to work out. I usually just wear these two to work out because they are just, this is just more coverage. Sometimes if the gym is more crowded, then a workout bra maybe is a little too revealing and I just wear one of these and the regular pants. They come in so many different colors. I just went with the two purple ones. These also happened to be on sale when I bought them, so it just worked out that way. Three more things from Lululemon, and I know I said I wouldn't go crazy buying these because I, at first I didn't see the hype, but after buying one, and I started with this one, <laughs> I could see the reason why they're so popular and literally everyone in Vancouver owns one, or at least one, <laughs> they probably own many, which is what happened to me. I ended up buying more because they're very, very useful for working out in my opinion. So I've used this one and this one the most actually, just because the white one is white. It's sometimes too white. Uh, this one, I actually wear it around the waist, so I like to keep it in the short setting. And I love to have this one just to hold my phone in the back, my keys and sanitizer in the front, ID, and I just go for my walks. And this is a great waist pouch. But a lot of people, especially in Vancouver and worldwide, they use it with a much longer setting, such as like this one and they just wear it as um, a sling bag kind of like wearing it kind of low crossbody and they just have their essentials so it's a great travel bag but for me i mostly i guess i mostly justify buying these to be my exercise workout um, companion to have all my essentials with me if i'm just working out in the gym in my complex then i don't really need these but they are great. They are definitely great. And look how sharp this white one is. This is a limited edition winter one that we've had. Um, and then these ones are just kind of like the classic ones, but they're really great and they're really inexpensive. I'll link them below. I particularly like the one liter because I tested also the two liter. I found the two liter to be a bit too big, but um, one liter is really just enough for all your essentials and it probably fits more than most mini luxury bags anyway. So speaking of luxury bags, I have a few that I wanted to go over. This is not new. This is my Constant Slim and I've mentioned that I don't really use this bag because it's quite small, it's limiting, and it really is a belt bag more than anything but recently i wore it on my birthday because it went with my birthday outfit and the reason why it worked out so well is because i have this converter i wore it with this conversion insert and this gorgeous pearl but you can basically use any strap this was really really cute that day i had on the silver tube top and i had a white skirt both of these things are available at mra i've featured this company it's a canadian company a while ago i wanted to wear it with a longer strap so they also sell these uh, kind of like epsom leather strap i had a lot of feedback when it came to the design of it because i wanted something slim that didn't take up all the space in the bag but it also kept it safe and uh, roomy and also really secure so i'm gonna link all the accessories that i really enjoy from emory you can also use my coupon code fashionably amy 10 to save 10 percent and recently they've sent me also some of their straps um at first i saw this one because i was interested in like a shorter wider length strap to use on my kelly um again i'm not sure what kind of strap fits this kelly the most but i was just wanting to experiment the different lengths and the different types of looks you know something a little bit more casual to see how it goes and if i'm happy with this configuration i can go ahead and buy the maybe the Hermes version but as of now i thought i would try it out with um Emory straps. This happened to be part of their conversion for the brick, brick a brac um, bag to convert into a bag. But then I saw this shop and I was like, hey, this 
might work so i just thought i would show you guys that so i like this strap quite a bit because it's the color works out quite well with my bag so this was the 70 centimeter they also sent me a 90 but the 90 is too long but that's how the 90 looks like and uh, i also prefer the webbing material of this white one more it just feels softer but here's the difference they're very subtle but like here's the difference i just thought this one looked nicer and i like the length of this one more on my bag and of course they also still have um this is the same shop as the one i showed you earlier but you can choose different lengths and different hardwares as well so non-stop rotation i mean this one especially i just I don't know what it is i can't rave enough about the mini 22 it's just an amazing size an amazing bag it doesn't have that like oh it's so nice it's such a great classic design it doesn't have that but it's something else it's when you go to use it um, it's super practical and have i gotten some wear and tear i have and i'll show you that and it's right here a little bit of scuffing but that's with a ton of wear for this i think you can maybe buff it a bit because i can i can tell that it's just like very superficial it's not like very deep scrape i use this non-stop i squish it everywhere i don't even take care of it that well and it's been such a workhorse so i can't i can't rave enough about the mini size 22 it's just one of my favorite and uh, this size is just uh, good to have because there will be days where you just need a bigger bag and this is the same company that i mentioned earlier uh, and especially i will mention it again because you see i have these kind of almost undetectable protectors on the sides and they just insert so easily they're also from MRA. Um, and these ones are way better. These are the best one that I've tried so far because these are made of leather. They are seamless. They kind of hide inside uh, your bag. They make them in many colors and they really do protect the side, like this part of your bag that the chain rubs against. I know several of you have reached out and told me that uh, you're glad that you got them and some of you started noticing some wear and tear and that you wanted to start using them i honestly think that you can't go wrong because this is a heavier bag unlike this size which um it doesn't always get the wear and tear right here because i also use the crossbody strap so the crossbody strap uh, it holds it from the inside from right here so it's not gonna create the same wear and tear and it's also not going to be as heavy as this size i'll just show you again how they look like because um, again some of you are still not sure uh, but they're very straightforward they just come like this a set of four it's like a piece of leather that uh, folds into half slip it in your bag right where the fold is okay let's pivot to some jewelry i am so hot guys i apologize for my shiny face i recently got into some pearls i haven't really talked about it on my channel yet but i've also consigned a lot of my costume jewelry i'm kind of down to just two sets of chanel jewelries and the rest are all replaced by fine jewelry or genuine pearls and this is the direction that i'm going for because i just get way more joy out of wearing these uh, very understated but gorgeous high quality pieces so these are two pairs of earrings that i've been really really enjoying very dainty long dangly earrings if you're like me you like your dangly earrings these are amazing the two necklaces that i really end up loving the most from gingerberry is this one so this is their akoya pearl you can also wear it as a choker because the chain itself is also adjustable you can make it shorter and longer this has become my most worn um jewelry pearl jewelry piece uh, because it's so lightweight so dainty and the pearls are just so high quality these i really like as well especially because they are just such a statement piece especially when you have a long sweater at this time of year it's a bit hot to wear a heavier piece like this but i lent this one to my mom and she wore it so well doubled up with her blouse made of silk and it just is gorgeous it's a gorgeous layered 
um, doubled up piece that I know I will get a ton of wear once it's sweater season. These are my constant two goes now. Um, all Hermes rings and then of course my wedding ring. But if I was on a pearl kind of vibe, this ring has definitely stolen my heart. It's just so gorgeous and so stunning and very modern. These two came from another company. I forget their name at the moment, but they were just so darling. These pieces are kind of like, um, I feel like it almost has like a Chanel vibe. These earrings are just like a couple of bows, crystal in the middle. So these are super affordable, very cute. Just like a very cute design. This was also the necklace um, that they sent me, which has this very cute um, gold piece in between, which is kind of their signature, their Celine signature pearl um, choker. You can also wear a silk scarf, like literally attached to the necklace. Ideals, lab grown diamonds are some of the best bang for your buck. So this is their high stud. So it's part of their, um, you know, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and one carat earring but i love the fact that you could just remove the pendant part so this this part is gorgeous of course i'm going to recommend it but if you're just not into all the bling and just a very classic piece i highly recommend their their high stud alone the size of them and just the wearability and the classicness of them just goes with everything literally these high studs have pretty much replace my choice of like classic and everyday earrings that I would wear because they just catch the light. These are just the middle size. Of course, you can go uh, the 0.5 or the 1 carat total weight, but I've always loved the grace. This is one of my favorite. I still highly recommend it. Sometimes a cuff, even without the earrings, is all you need. Like this just kind of elevates your whole look. And so this is their power cuff so cool and then i also have this one which is their slightly daintier cuff enough little detail on your ear that it just it just it's enough to really bring out the whole ear game but if your budget doesn't allow a high jewelry piece i still recommend their regular pieces as well this is one of my favorite um, because this also gives the illusion of a year crawler and it just is so stunning even though they are much smaller in stature the stud and everything but um, the whole thing together and you see the difference here this is a huge stud compared to this size right but the earrings because it has a cluster of beautiful design and it this piece especially to me looks like a ear crawler. These are one of my favorites because they just look so stunning on the ear. They still catch the light. Ideal just makes some of the most innovative designs and just very classic but also very interesting designs. There's something for everybody, literally. A few more accessories. I will say one of my favorites is these um, Almez. Apple watch strap not the watch itself of course I love the watch but the strap itself this Kaleem strap is one of my favorite because it's literally a deployment strap that is so easy so secure and so fast to put on I feel like this has become my favorite watch strap to wear even though these are made of you know kind of like a plasticky material and I have so many straps right I have a bunch of leather ones um, but I still revert back to this one because it's a deployment strap and I just I feel like because it's so easy I just grab this one so much more and has become a huge favorite and they do look very cool Don't you think it's 40 but also uh, quite cool at the same time and it, it just goes with so many looks here's two Clé de Peau products that uh, have been really great for the summertime. So this one is you know, I didn't love it at first because it's their concealer and it's quite high coverage. And I didn't love it at first because I thought with my dry skin especially, it just 
seems like it was drying it some somewhat more especially under the eye but i've noticed that for the summertime especially it's actually great because it's so hot uh, and i only use it like right around here around my dark spots i just blend it with um, this brush literally like it takes me two minutes to get ready if i wanted to have a very bare face but just slightly better than really really bare and because it has spf on top of uh, the really great coverage and with the heat it just melds into the skin because it's the summertime so this has become a favorite of mine especially for the summer um, with this one it's their lip balm that has spf and it looks like that um, it has such a great texture it's very um, moisturizing it has a nice pleasant scent i don't love fragrance but i don't mind this one at all and i almost overline my lips with this one because it just has spf it's just going to protect from the fine lines uh, i will say the only thing i don't love about it is that it's you have to install it yourself and it just easily comes off of the of this um of this bullet and it's it feels really lightweight so it has kind somewhat of a cheap feeling but otherwise the product is really really great and i do like it especially for the summer so these two have become big summer favorites for that bare almost no makeup face because literally is spf spf concealer blush good to go so the blush that i've been raving about and the one that i've been just loving so much is this one um on my very bare face day rose dorée number 35 um it's literally the one that i will wear on top of that um concealer from clé de peau and it just blends in the concealer and the dark spot at the same time this is the same con same one that i wore today except i do have another more pink one from chanel underneath um, but otherwise the top part is from this one and it's just a universal all year round color but especially the summertime gives you that nice glow really solid favorite eyeshadow palette that i've just really been going back to a lot especially when it does fit the theme uh, of my outfit um, this one is just such a solid very neutral everybody can sort of wear type of palette and this is the hermes number five en Fumé. and this is the one that i have on today and the reason why i love it so much is because i, I literally use every color in here this one being the base, this one being the crease, this one being the eyeliner, and this one being the highlight. I think this just goes to show how um, cohesive this palette is, and um, it just works. My favorite, hands down, for sure. Um, now, I'm going to talk about just the brushes that I use all the time and that I can do my whole face with. In fact, I can do my whole face with these ones. Uh, these are my literal go-to. Uh, this one, I've had to add it just because uh, some of you reached out and said, I have no clue what makeup brushes I should get. Just tell me which one you, you use and I'll buy them. And this is why I'm showing it here. I usually have dry skin, so I don't even powder. But if I had to pick a powder brush, it would have to be this one. This one is literally the best one that um, I've ever used and owned from Chico Hodo and it's just their powder brush. It is more of an expensive brush, but it's such a soft, uh, very soft brush, uh, even though I don't use it all the time, but if I do have to use a powder brush, I will even bronze with this one. I, I just use it with my bronzing powder from Hermes and I kind of just powder my face with that. Uh, that's the one I've been using. It's just such a great, a very soft brush and really really high quality if you ever want to buy just one powder brush and be done with it um, I really 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 like this one from my collection um, the other two bigger brushes that I use constantly non-stop are these two so the only other brush that I use is this one which is just the 
uh, Real Technique 200. I think this is supposed to be a uh, foundation brush, but I only use it as my concealer brush because I have a big, basically brown spot patch on both sides of my cheeks, and those are my main problem areas. So once I conceal that area, the rest of my face, I don't really care. I only, um, I only wear tinted moisturizer, if at all. Usually I just go SPF, a bit of concealer where I need it, and the rest is just powder makeup. And so I really just pretty much use this all around here just to blend my concealer right around my dark spots. And that is it. So this one is my go-to. When it comes to a um, blush brush or like a face brush, I have not come across any better one than this one. So this is unfortunately a limited edition one from uh, Refer. Um, hopefully they will start making sorry this is the right side up hopefully they'll start making more of their limited edition one so i've got two of their limited edition one i bought it at two different times but both of them are really great it's just the the type of hair that they use is super soft and also just the size of the brush is exactly where you want to put your blush and also be able to blend it it's not too small or too big that it'll just overwhelm your face uh, especially if you want it to be more of a precise placement but not so small and precise that you have to work so hard at it so this has been such a favorite of mine uh, this along with the other one i kind of just have to i just have to you know keep washing them and keep rotating them but um, if they ever come back, refer, if they ever come back with their holiday uh, Saibi Koho uh, face brush, which I use as my blush brush, and it's my favorite blush brush, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, so keep an eye out for their holiday, holiday one that they make. Uh, aside from that, these are uh, really, um, for me, these are my staples in terms of eye makeup. These are all refer brushes. If you're looking for good eye brushes that just really performs and they're really great quality and they're really great prices, these you can't go wrong. So you need to have number one. So, well, I, I need number one. So I do like the base color with the number one brush, just the base uh, one color all over the eyes. And then I use the number 15 mini size. So this is the mini size of their 15 to do the crease V around the corner. And then I will use the number 16 just to blend everything without any shadow on it. Sometimes I will pick up a little bit, but otherwise I just kind of blend the whole thing to make sure everything is seamless. And then I usually go in with, um, for me, I usually go in with number three because this is a much bigger eye pencil brush and I did my black eyeliner with this one. So their number 23 and their number three are both pencil brushes, but they are much different in size. But for me to do the top eyeliner, because I need quite a thick top eyeliner, I just use the number three. And then the number 23, I do the lower line, or sometimes I will do the inner corner, uh, depending on if you want to use it as highlight or as the uh, lower lash. So this is a good size for that. I also really like their number 21, just because I usually always do the shimmer highlight part at the end of my eye look. So sometimes I don't feel like using my ring finger, so I'll go in with this number 21, which is a great um, one to pick up shimmers and just apply it with a brush. Okay, two more mentions and we're out of here because I'm so hot and it's 1 a.m. already, so I need to get out. I received a few PR gadgets that I thought I would just show you guys. Um, I will say they will sound or, f or, or look gimmicky. Personally, I've been using red light therapy for many years now. I've been buying my own red light therapy devices for years. I use it mainly for my body and for my joints. And so, um, it, and it's also not like magic. It doesn't just work overnight. It's something that you have to be consistent at using. Light energy, especially infrared, is really, really good for your body in terms of every aspect from 
sleep to rejuvenation, inflammation to um, healing. Um, it's just, it's got a lot going on for it. So when uh, these companies reached out, I thought I would try. I, I would always give anything um, health related device a try. So this piece here is from SKG. And it's an infrared or a red light um, kind of device that um, gives you kind of like a nice neck massage. I don't think it's really like, really like, you know, it doesn't really get into your deep tissues or anything, but it is uh, relieving in a sense that it warms up your neck. So if you have a stiff neck or stiff shoulder all the time and you just want some comfort, like, does that make sense? Uh, it does that for you, especially the warmth is nice, especially when I got this um, around the winter time, springtime, it was still very cold. Uh, it was really nice and cozy to have this. So you just wear it around your neck, just like so, and you turn it on. There's several settings. I, I, I turn on all the max settings, so I'll just show you. So right now it's massaging my neck. So all these little buttons right here, they're kind of pressing my neck, well, pressing. They're just vibrating around my neck um, and just kind of giving uh, a slight kind of pulsing vibration. And also the red light therapy is also healing. And it's, it's not like a miracle device. It's not gonna heal like a big shoulder injury or neck injury. If I wake up very cold and it's kind of like a very stiff neck, I like having this on so i will link it below if you're interested um i will turn it off right now Power off. i would say this is quite a small red light therapy device uh it's more the sensation that it gives you kind of like a small a bit of relief even though i am familiar with red light therapy myself i've done my research i've bought my own devices um, I'm still very wary of what's out there. You don't know what's real and what's not, right? There's a lot of things on Amazon that you should really not be buying because they're, they're maybe not real or fake or bad. And so when this company reached out, I asked a lot of questions. I asked about uh, regulations, certifications, and um, you know the results and things like that and they've sent me all the information that i needed and i will link as much information as i can below i've read everything and i felt comfortable to go ahead and try it especially when it comes to my face like if it's my body if it's not working then whatever scrap it right red light even though it's safe um if it's not the right configuration you just you just don't want anything to happen so they were very kind to tell me all the information that I needed. This one is fully FDA certified and several other certification. This one is also certified, but I think this one has the Singapore or the Asia certification anyway. LED infrared um, technology for your face. So similar to how I do it on my body, I also started trying it for my face. This version here is their um, regular red light therapy and they're also their first version which i've tried both i will say they're very complementary very similar but i've just been using this one mostly because it's four in one and it has more powerful lights from as far as i understood from their explanation and also has more uh functionality and i've been using it for one month now yeah just about one month maybe averaging six days a week and I have seen some results. I will say it's hard to really show the results because again, my main concern is not texture or anything, but mostly the hyperpigmentations around my cheeks and sometimes the stubborn acne that comes like every now and then, not so often, but when they do come, they stay. And those are some of my main issues. And I know for a fact that red light therapy helps. Now, whether you want to believe it and whether you want to try it is really up to you. This is not really my full review, but I thought I would mention it because 
I really do believe in red light therapy as I've been using it for a long time. And as far as I know, these things have been helping. If anything, I feel like my skin's been healing faster. And I also feel like the, the dark spots, especially the ones that are very deep and very apparent on my cheeks for many, many decades now, have maybe... It's not that they've really lightened, but maybe they are like this the, maybe the borders around them are starting to lighten up a bit because i feel like even my concealer um i need it less or maybe they blend in easily and it's just easier to make them look or go away because you can still see the shadows right around my concealer but they are a lot more easy to conceal them if that makes sense it has become my favorite sort of speak uh, and but i will definitely report some more on them um, as i get maybe more results that are visible on camera to show but i definitely uh, i'm a big believer on red light therapy because i have big devices and i have small devices such as this is one of the first ones that i've ever used for my face uh, for the acnes especially, but literally you have to press and hold for two minutes and it's just one small area. It's literally just three little LED um, lights and it only works on one small area like this uh, and you have to hold it. And so even though this is great too, but it just takes way longer to use this versus a whole mask that will cover your face and work on your face for 10 full minutes and then you remove your mask you don't have to hold your mask i hope you guys have been enjoying this summer super favorites video of mine it took forever to film so i hope that you give it a thumbs up check out the links below some of them are just my own purchases some of them are gifted to me regardless they have become my favorites and i do recommend them they've been helping me out and i've been reaching for them a lot so thanks for watching and if you're new to my channel please do subscribe share it with your friends i would love it i would really really appreciate it and i'll talk to you guys next week bye